Hi guys, welcome to the Nail Team YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave any comments below if you want to. Thanks very much. Bye. Hey everyone, um, so I'm doing a polka dot video. I know I've done a couple of polka dot videos, but it is one of my favourite techniques, especially summertime. I think it's really fresh. Um, so I'm just going to do another quick one for you, um, just a basic one. So you're going to start by building up your polka dots. So you're going to pick up a bead of acrylic, really drain the liquid out the back of your brush so that that bead of acrylic is going to stay nice and high on that nail. Because if it sinks too low, then it's not going to come through the product that you're going to put on top. So you really want to make sure that it stays nice and high on that nail. So really draining that liquid out the back of the bead. Um, ideally strength powders are better than design powders for this because they hold their shape a little bit more. Design powders tend to sink a little bit, so strength powders are better. So I'm just doing some really summery girly ones with um, a nice bright pink from NSI, a nice bright orange from Secrets NSI and then a neon yellow from Nuba. you can see those beads are staying nice and high even when they're starting to set they're not sinking and going too flat on that nail it, this looks lovely in just black and white black and white polka dots so just doing black beads and then capping with white or vice versa um, it looks really retro so have a play have a decide what design you want to do you can do different sizes as well they don't all have to be the same size beads you can do different sizes so I'm just going to fill a couple of my gaps with some smaller beads don't play with the bead too much once you've placed it on the nail just allow that bead um, to start to polymerize and it will round off it anyway if you play with it too much you'll add too much liquid to it, it'll sink too much and then you won't get that effect that you're wanting. Um, so just place that bead on and as you watch it polymerize, it will start to round off anyway. Now the polka dots have to be completely set before you put your um, acrylic over the top, whatever the acrylic that is. I'm going to use NSI's Radiant White. Any strength powder really is fine to go over the top so you could use clear if you wanted to a transparent pink if you wanted to or even an NSI tech nail color anything that is a strength powder can go over the top now the finished acrylic design is going to look a bit bumpy until we file it so tell your clients not to panic um, it's not going to look smooth at this point because obviously you've got those polka dots just starting to uh, pop through a little bit but you just want to make sure that you've got enough product on there for strength because you're not going to cap this, which is why you're using a strength powder to cap. So you're not going to cap it with clear after. So you need to make sure that you've got enough on there, enough apex um, on there to make the whole nail. I've done this with black before. That looks nice. Uh, it looks a bit messy as you're applying it, but once it's... Uh, filed through and those beautiful polka dots come through it's really nice you can use that belly of your brush to press if you need to but just make sure that you've got enough acrylic on there once you're happy and that acrylic's set you can file it and then white block it to smooth it and you can see those polka dots have come through lovely and then just gel top coat. It's a nice fun one guys. <laughs> 